Welcome back. Today's video will be discussing DraftSite's Change Length feature. It's hidden under the Power Trim icon in the Modify section of the ribbon and does exactly what its name suggests. Upon selection, it allows you to personalize the length of your lines in arcs in any way you choose. More specifically, once you select your entity in revision, DraftSite will list four methods of alteration. Dynamic, increment, percent, or total. The dynamic option attaches an extending line to an end of your entity. You'll then specify where you want it to be lengthened or shortened to, depending on the direction you choose. The increment option allows you to extend or shorten entities by measurements that you define. For example, if you specify one, your entity will be extended by one unit whereas negative one would shorten your line by one unit. Increment can also alter arcs by defining angle, and then the degree you want to add to your curve. Percent changes the length of your line by a specified percentage amount of the current total length. Lastly, the total option allows you to, to define the dimension length of your entity as a whole. Keep in mind that for every option, the side of the line that you select in the drawing window for alterations will be the one that is shortened or lengthened, depending on your length specifications. I hope this post encourages you to edit your designs with the change length feature. If you're looking to learn more, visit the blog page or visit draftsite.com.